This tutorial is on how to use GreenShot. GreenShot is a very small screen capture tool that has a lot of cool features to it. Most screen capture tools are either very basic and just allow you to take a screenshot and not edit it, or they're big bloated tools that have just a ton of things to them that you're never going to use and they're hard to use. This is the best tool I found that allows you to take a screenshot and also allows you to make uh, lines, arrows, rectangle boxes, eclipse. You can obfuscate stuff out of it. And uh, the first thing you want to do is go to GreenShot, I mean GetGreenShot.org. Go to that website, you click on the download button. It's going to pop up and ask you if you want to save it. We save it we want to maybe save it to our desktop so we can find it again and hit save it saves it to our desktop and then you're going to want to simply double click on it and run it and walk it through its install and once it's all done then it will throw a green shot icon down in your bottom tray which we'll go over in a future tutorial here in the next part After installing GreenShot, the first thing we'll do is change a few preferences. Go down here to your GreenShot icon, right click on it, and choose Preferences. You'll see this window pop up. We don't need to change anything in the general area, but we will change something on the output. We want to leave the Open an Image Editor here because uh, that allows you to take a capture and then it immediately opens up in the editor so you can uh, fine-tune it, add objects, that kind of stuff. But you may want to choose the storage location and uh, that way you can point it where you want it, whether it be My Documents or inside of My Documents there's a folder for everybody that's called My Pictures, you can choose that. Also, when GreenShot installs, it installs as the default image format to be a ping file. We're going to change that to a JPEG. That way it's more compatible. Once we're done with that, we just say OK, and we've now changed some of our settings. Let's look at a few options on the GreenShot menu. If we go down to the GreenShot icon, right-click on it, you'll see a menu that pops up. These top four things are different methods you can use to capture with. And uh, one of the most coolest features about GreenShot is it allows you to open images from anywhere. So it's not just about images that you capture. It can open any image. Uh, so let's try this. Let's open image from file. You're now presented with where is your image at. So we'll go down here and choose a pool table. There's one right here. You can see that we're now uh, opening an image that was uh, created from somewhere else. So that's a real cool feature of GreenShot is you're not just stuck with editing screen captures that you do. You can edit anything. In this lesson, we'll take an actual screen capture shot of something on a web page. So to do this, you have two options of doing it. You can either right click on the green shot icon which will bring up a menu and you can see there's four different options for capturing things. The one we'll focus on here is the capture region. To the right of that you can, says, you can see it says print. That is a keyboard command for how you do a capture manually with just the keyboard. The print button is the print screen button that you'll find to the right of the F12 button on your keyboard, which is at the top. In this case, we'll use the mouse click here to capture the region. Once you do that, you can see you now have some crosshairs right here. And what we're going to do is, if we want to capture this picture right here, we'll just go up to the top left of it and click on our left mouse button and continue to hold down the left mouse button the whole time. And then we're going to drag until we get exactly what we want and then we let up on our mouse button. When we do that, we now see the green shot image editor up here 
which allows us to then edit it. But you don't have to be perfect because we can always crop it later. If you don't like this one, just hit the X button here and say you don't want to save it and do it again. Go down here, right click on the green shot icon and say capture region. And let's say we're going to capture this again. We just go up here to the left, hold down our left mouse button, drag till we got exactly what we want and release the mouse button. Boom. There's our picture. Let's look at the green shot image editor icons. Up here there's the menu button. You can save as copy image to clipboard which will copy it into your memory and allow you to paste it anywhere. You got print and email. Email will take whatever you have here and stick it in an email blank email message. Edit, you can paste your preferences. Object uh, tells you the different keyboard commands that you can use to do these things. So if you want to draw a rectangle, you don't have to click on this rectangle button right here. You can actually just hit the R button on your keyboard. They're fairly easy to remember. R for rectangle, E for eclipse, L for line, A for arrow, T for text. Select all will take all the objects that you created on here and select them all in case you wanted to start completely fresh and delete them. So going over here on the uh, top menu bar, save is self-explanatory. It'll save the uh, image. Uh, copy image to clipboard. I explained that one. Print, email, and you can see that some of these are grayed out like the delete button and the cut. Those are grayed out because there's nothing selected right now to delete. And uh, you got a little help button here too if you ever want to use that. So over here we got the selection tool which is one of the most important tools there is on here because it allows you to select an object. An object, when I say object throughout this tutorial, will mean anything that you have created because a rectangle, eclipse, line, arrow, text box, any of this stuff are called objects. So a rectangle here, we can draw a rectangle. And the important thing to remember is immediately after drawing your object, you want to immediately hit the selection tool. Because now you can just click this to select it and now you can go and edit it. You can grab the arrow and move it back and forth, that kind of thing. If you didn't do that, when I clicked on, well, I'll click on e Eclipse here. If I draw an Eclipse, and I'm doing this by holding down my left mouse button while continually holding it down, dragging, and then where I, when I got what I want, I release the left mouse button. If I do, if I don't hit the selection tool, I'm still in drawing mode. So if I click anywhere else on here, it's going to start making another one, and I don't want that. I'll, so each time you draw something, make sure you hit the selection tool immediately after you're done drawing it. So I've got this thing here. I don't want it anymore. If it, it's, it, you can tell it's highlighted. It's selected right now because of the black boxes around it. So I could actually just go up here to the delete button and hit that and it disappear. The draw line arrow button will draw a line. Draw arrow button draw an arrow. The text box, if you hold down your left mouse button and drag, you can make a box, however big you think your text may be. You can always adjust it. And you can see the cursor is flashing there ready for some text. The highlight tool is, uh, say I wanted to highlight these group of balls, I could grab that. And you can see how it highlights it by bringing it out in a different color from the rest of the picture. The obfuscate allows us to pixelate something to make it unreadable. So whether it be a face or some text or personal information you don't want in your image, you can, if we wanted to obfuscate this diamond out here, we would just draw a box around the area we want to do that with and you can see now it's pixelated it beyond the point of being able to read it. And the last one is the crop tool 
and you want to be very careful with this because what happens is is when you crop something you're you're grabbing a spot of something we can go ahead and do that we can grab a chunk of this and you can see now it's looking for confirm or cancel if we hit confirm it's going to take this chunk out of all the rest of this and make a new image and you're going to lose everything that you've worked on so be careful with it on which part you want to uh, grab it's mostly uh, used for uh, taking a new image and uh, maybe cropping a certain chunk out of it that you want to work on so we'll hit cancel here those are the different things you can do on the menus here okay let's go into more detail on each one of the objects